Hey, it's a privilege to take a moment and just share a thought with you today. I'm Steve Uppal from All Nations. Recently, I was at a conference. I wasn't speaking, just attending. It was called Voice of the Persecuted Church. And the people speaking at that conference, uh, two of them from China, one from North Korea, one from Sudan, and the other from Iran. I remember listening to these church leaders, uh, the two Chinese guys just between them. I, I don't know how many million people, double digits, millions represented in the churches they have planted and the people that have been under their care. I'm listening to these people over a two and a half day period. I remember one of the mornings, um, a guy called Peter Xu, uh, spelt X-I, uh, from China. He's Brother Yun's spiritual father, mentor over the years, probably about 80 years old. Um, he gets up and he starts speaking. He never moves from the one position he's in and uh, never really raises his voice. And I don't think he said anything that was like, wow, I've never heard that before. But from the moment he started to speak, I felt like waves of fire were coming out. I call it weighty glory and just rolling out over the people in the room. I found myself unable to sit on my chair, just kneeling by the side of my chair uh, with my head between my knees. And for about 25, 30 minutes, I, I, all I could do was weep. Uh, I felt the presence of God in a very unusual way. And I found myself saying to the Lord, I want what he's got. He's a man who spent more than 25 years in prison. And many of those days in prison, years in prison, uh, being interrogated, persecuted, tortured for the faith. Uh, Brother Yun, very similar story. Some of you have read his book, The Heavenly Man, uh, 15 years in prison. And many of those days being uh, tortured for the faith in Christ. So I started to ask myself the question as a Western leader who wants that kind of fire, how do I get it? I said to the Lord, do I have to go to prison? Do I have to have been tortured to be able to carry that fiery weight of your presence? When Peter Shu was preaching, there was no clever kind of stories. There was no humor. Uh, there was no clever way of structuring his sermon. He just talked. But when he talked, I felt something I very, maybe two or three times I felt before. The weight of glory was strong and it reached into my heart and wakened things and imparted something. That kind of weight is mostly missing in my life and in the Western church. I'm trying to provoke you that you can have this. I want this. And I felt the Lord saying to me, you don't have to go to prison and be tortured. You just have to live the way that they live. You have to have the same love, the same trust and the same obedience. Three things, love, trust and obey. And I'd like to think, well, I already love. I'm already a trusting person. I trust you, Lord, and I'm obedient to you. But I realize it's not in the same way. You know, for those men, platform doesn't matter. When you're in prison, you stop caring about what everybody out there thinks. Maybe you do for the first month. Brother Yun tells a story, his first few weeks in prison, he would say to the Lord every day, my wife's pregnant. Um, the church is, I'm not there. So my baby's going to be born without a father. My wife has no support. All the churches have planted. I'm not able to talk to them, communicate with them. And he wants out of prison. He said the Lord only spoke one word to him again and again. He said, I know. I know. I know. My wife's in prison. I know. My, my wife's having a baby. I know. I'm in prison. I know. The churches have nobody to lead them. I know. I'm stuck here. I know. And he preached his message and I was so hit by it. What I heard him saying is the Lord saying, I know exactly where you are. I know exactly what's happening. And right now you're exactly where I want you to be, which messes with my theology. And he soon settled into the fact that the Lord knew where he was and he had to love the Lord where he was, trust the Lord where he was and obey the Lord where he was. And I think, do I do that? I can complain about my circumstances. I can complain about what's going on. And maybe there's a competitiveness with other ministries that you might be challenged by. The Lord is destroying this and bringing a purity to his people. A purity where we will love him and others above all else. A purity that will trust him above all else. 
and a purity that will obey radically. Let me close with this story. Brother Ian tells this story. One day, a few years in prison now, they get watery soup every day, very little to eat. He's malnutritioned. Once a week, they get a little bread roll. And it's supposed to be like a little gift. You get a bread roll once a week. And as he's about to eat his bread roll with the soup, the Holy Spirit says to him, I want you to give that bread roll to that prisoner over there. It's a prisoner who's tied up, he's in chains because he's violent, he's unpredictable, he's hurt a lot of people, he's a murderer in prison. And Brother Ian starts to cry and says, Lord, I want this. I'm so hungry. I don't want to share it or give it. But the Lord said, you would withhold that from me. And he puts it inside of his cloak, coat, hides it, and chooses to be obedient to the Lord. And goes and gives this bread roll to the man later on. And it leads, it breaks that man, leads to his salvation. That leads to the salvation of many others. And I'm thinking, how obedient am I? There's, it's... <laughs> So I'm being challenged right now, and I'm bringing that challenge to you. If you want weight of glory, you don't have to go to prison. You don't have to be tortured. But you do have to overcome our burdens. Brother Yun said this. He said, in the East, in China, our burden is the prison, the torture, the pain. He said, for you in the West, your burden is your materialism and your comfort. I would add to that our platforms and competition Make a name for myself, get more money, get more followers. And the Lord says, will you love me, trust me, obey me with a purity that few are demonstrating. I want to invite you to journey towards weighty glory. And so, Father, I pray for those watching today. Would you cause them to be awakened that the Father wants to raise up those who carry the glory of God? Would you deliver us from Western Christian mentality and help us to think like New Testament followers of Christ who have surrendered all, sold everything to buy the field. In Jesus' name, amen.